good morning evening afternoon whatever time of day it is for you it's blakes here and today we finally got the news on tyranno beat and the may random booster which is really interesting and unexpected so i just want to dive right into it because this is really exciting so first up releasing april 27th we have bx31 the tyranno beats random booster and to be honest, I think this is the best random booster lineup we have we've gotten in X in all seriousness. I think it is. Not a single one of these bays in the random booster look bad. They all have good parts. Um starting off with the prize, Tyrano B, obviously. This bay looks so good. Now that doesn't mean it's gonna perform good, but it is very pleasing to the eye, at least for me. I love the colors and the design. The Tyranno beat, like, bit chip in the middle is sick. Um, the parts are really interesting. As far as, um, we do get two new, like, everything in this bay is, an, is a new part. We get 470 Quake. And the Quake bit looks really interesting. It's one of those bits where you know it's not going to be good or competitive, but you do know it will be fun to use. And I am completely okay with that because that's like my thing. I feel like I feel like if the Beyblade isn't gonna be competitive, at least make it fun to use. So I'm completely okay with that. And then moving on to the recolors. Dude, like I'm telling you, oh, there's not a single miss in this random booster. The like minty green Tyranno beat looks amazing. The drawn dagger with the reversed colors looks amazing. I'm pretty sure Drawn Dagger and Hell's Chain are both just like, um, they just have the colors reversed. Because Drawn Dagger is blue and has orange fire, but instead, the dragon is orange and has blue fire, and then Hell's Chain is obviously completely red, but this time it's blue. Black and red Shark Edge, absolutely. Black and red are my two favorite colors, and I feel like this Shark Edge is gonna look sick IRL. Rhino Horn. No one really cares about it, but it is a really cool, like, purple and magenta color that I feel like will look good. So, I mean, it'll perform like ass, but at least it'll look cool. And then we move on to next month, the short random booster, which I was fully convinced was going to be a UX variant for Multi's Night Bay. But no, it is actually the bay that that old lady owns on, um on the current team that's going on in the manga i don't know her exact name or any of the specifics but i'll put up a picture but yeah so since it is a short random booster this is the lineup um the main one does look really nice i do like those colors and i love that the like shinobi bit chip looks like you can see like um like little sketch lines on the avatar that looks so cool um and the design does look very good. The black and blue one reminds me of Noob Cybot from Mortal Kombat, if y'all know who I'm talking about. And then the piss one is just ugly. I don't know why they keep doing yellow recolors in these short random boosters, because they never look good. Um, but the parts are kind of crazy. The parts for the prize bay are 180 Metal Spike. And... We don't have any like official official images of metal spike that i can show but it does look crazy i'm kind of like excited and scared equally at the same time if it ends up being good or fun then fair but i just want to know like why why spike why is that the bit that you choose um but yeah i guess we'll have to see um so yeah let me know what you guys think which random booster is your favorite? Which one are you most ex more excited for? Tyranno B or Shinobi Shadow? Let me know down in the comments below. Um, I'd love to see what you guys think. Um, I will see you guys very soon. I love you all and bye.